Happy Wednesday, everyone! Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday! Welcome to the new episode of Vibe Check. Being real while we chill. This is Mao, Simena, Sophia, Gia, and I'm Kat. So, kamusta naman yung week nyo ngayon? We're currently in the middle of the week already. Yeah, so far so good. Okay, ba? May sauna hangover. Yeah. yeah. Actually, May content. Lalo na sa paligid natin, puro sauna din ang yes. ating. Yun din yung laging pinag-uusapan yeah, din kasi. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, speaking about sauna, meron tayong um, headline for this morning. Marka sacks three police generals, 15 mm-hmm. colonels. So, during President Marcus's, Marcus Jr. sauna last Monday, he declared that he would remove those in the PNP who is and would be involved in illegal drug trade. So the next day, yung, so yesterday, the president accepted the resignation of three police generals and 15 colonels due to their alleged involvement in an illegal trade of drugs. Yes. So those who resigned were. So, so um, what do you guys um, think about what he did for this um, resignation? No, inaccept niya. Actually, for me, um, this is like a big step. Um, for kasi di ba coming from yung drug war era administration parang mm-hmm. it's actually parang nakikita natin na may progress tayo um, seeing na he's open to um, uh, accepting these kinds of yes. ano yeah resignations lalo na um, kap, um, vice president natin is si VP Sara Duterte na anak ni mm-hmm. President, uh, former, former President, President Rodrigo Duterte. So, for me ayun, um, big step siya. Um, actually, I kind of, uh, hindi ko in-expect yun uh, sa kanya. So, for me, um, isa yun sa mga siguro magandang na ano, nagawa niya. Siguro. Yeah, and considering na madami nagkaroon ng extrajudicial <coughs> killings yeah. previ- sa previous um, administration, mm-hmm. it's it's a, a good step. The, like what you said na... Yeah. Um, keeping them accountable. Yes, mm-hmm. keeping yeah. them accountable regardless of their position yes. in the government. Mm-hmm. So yun, those who resigned um, were ordered by the DA- DILG to submit their courtesy resignation last January. So, mm-hmm. Yung DILG Interior Secretary, si Benjamin Abalos Jr., sabi niya na the courtesy resignations of all those concerned were necessary to cleanse the ranks of the PNP of those involved yeah. in drugs. Exactly. Um, para kasing yung, ano din na yun, yung ginawa ng mga officials na yun is also a big step. Para, kasi ano eh, yung reputation ng PNP, kumbaga, after, um, after that drug war yes. uh, probe and uh, drug war, ad, uh, Drug war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nabubulol na. Pero, ayun, after that drug war, parang ano siya, step siya na parang maano yung kahit pa paano, somehow ma, ano yung image ng PNP yes, sa mga yes. tao. So, parang nakikita nila may accountability yes. ang PNP, ganun, para sa akin. Parang. However, considering that was uh, requested oh. in January pa, so oh. medyo matagal lang din yung naging process since we're already halfway through the year. It's Actually. already June, so mm. uh, sana, um, Next Siguro time. mas bilisan yung yes, process. Yes, exactly. Matagal na siyang naging... Mm-hmm. Yun lang din yung ano dun. Kahit na parang, ano siya, para naging bare minimum, kumbaga. Nakakatuwa yung ginawa nila. Pero at the same time, yung process kasi antagal. Kaya parang, ano din. Uh, y- yeah. Lalo na na parang napapatunayan na due process is still very yeah. slow here. Exactly. True. Yeah, so next on our headline, this is for sports. History is made. Mm-hmm. PH posts historic World Cup history. So, yeah. Serena Bolden delivers the historic first ever goal for the Philippines in the World Cup stage. So, this victory boosts the Philippines' chances of going to the knockout stages to make it to the last 16. Yeah. So, medyo unfamiliar tayo with football na. So, mm-hmm. dahil siguro familiar naman tayo na yung talagang main team sports ang inasusuportahan mm-hmm. sa... Like basketball. Yeah, basketball, basketball, volleyball, volleyball. Lang. So, yun yung mga madalas, kadalasan nating nasusubaybayan. So, yeah. when... Yung gantong kinds of news ay nag sa atin. Talagang nagugulat tayo oh, kasi minsan unaware fashion. tayo na we, uh, who are we being represented mm-hmm. sa uh, world stage, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, kasi when it comes to football or soccer, medyo hindi siya accessible to normal Filipinos yeah. eh. Yeah, kasi ang napapansin ko, Lagi siyang sa area ng BGC, yung mga football field. So, hindi, mm-hmm. hindi siya nagiging mainstream here in the Philippines. Yeah. Kaya, itong nangyaring goal, first goal, right? Yes, first. Mm-hmm. Grabe, big step siya for us yeah, in the Philippines. It is. Mm-hmm. And nakaka-proud for them. Yeah, exactly. 
Exactly. Bukod sa recognition na nakukuha nila, sana makakuha rin sila ng sapat na funding yes. para masuportahan yung uh, training expenses mm-hmm. and everything. Lalo na yung mga, yun nga yung mga sports na hindi natin masyado nasusubaybayan. Mm-hmm. Sila yung may mga problema sa budgeting mm-hmm. nila to actually compete internationally. Yeah, and hindi lang course. football, ba? Diba? Mm-hmm. Madami pang mm-hmm. sports, like yung skateboarding yeah. and yung weightlifting, weightlifting. siya Dylan Diaz, uh, diba? Ayun yeah. lang din yung ano kasi, pangit sa atin. Parang nabibigyan lang sila ng attention if nanalo, ano, na. nanalo na, yeah. di ba? So, yun yung pangit, siguro, para sa akin. Kaya, siguro, maganda um, bigyan natin ng, uh, bigyan ng government ng support ang um, ating mga athletes. Hindi lang yung sa mga mainstreams like volleyball and basketball. And basketball, yeah. Exactly. So, Saka siguro, parang aside sa sports, di ba, mga board games din, parang mm-hmm. medyo mahina mm-hmm. din yung parang recognition, yung parang hindi masyadong ano yung attention sa kanila. Kaya mm-hmm. minsan may nababalitaan lang tayo na nag-iibang bansa na lang or tinitigil na lang nila yung... Or nagpapa-import. Oo, yung diba, ganun. Sa ibang bansa or ganun. Kaya, ayun. Ayun lang for me. We need more representation. Yeah, we need more representation. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so next, kasi nararamdaman naman natin yung weather, medyo hindi maganda. So, ayun, as EGAI cancels classes or work. So, as bag yung EGAI intensifies, more than 16,000 individuals or 4,554 families have been affected already according to the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council or NDRRMC. So, dahil nga sa hindi magandang panahon, 128 classes and 87 towns opted to declare suspensions. So, dahil nga ngayon na rainy season mm-hmm. na naman, ano sa tingin yung mga magandang preparations para tawag doon medyo mapaghandaan natin or ma-minimize natin yung mga damages dyan? Siguro considering yung mga past na binagyo tayo, binaha tayo, ano pa rin naman yung ano eh? talagang bago pa bago pa dumating yung bagyo dito sa bansa natin dapat prepared na lahat lagi naman yan nasa TV oh. maganda ng flashlight maganda yeah. ng budget ng food and everything magtaas ng mga gamit so ayun lang naman yun same ano lang din sa kung anong pinapakita sa TV lalo na kami ilang beses kami binaha ng bata kami talaga tapos kahapon kinabahan din ako kasi ang lakas ng ulan sa amin kagabi tapos pagising ko kinabukasan ulan pa din nga sa amin pagkagising ko pagising ko kinabukasan suspended na yung klase kung kayo maaraw na pero ayun maganda yung ginawa din nila na suspension kasi nga hindi natin alam kagay mostly yung mga ulan ano talaga eh hindi natin alam kung kailan sila lalakas so so, on some parts din ng uh, Metro Manila, kahit hindi ganong ramdam directly sa atin, since hindi naman tayo yung uh, talagang madadaanan ng bagay directly, still nag-suspend ng classes yeah. talaga sa ibang part, and it's only the start of the school year. Mm-hmm. So, magandang uh, siguro ibalik yung discussion about sa going ulit April and May yung bakasyon rather than oh. June, July. Dahil nung mm-hmm. in-adjust, parang lalong oh. yung mga bagyo, parang nag-adjust din nila. Talagang nag-adjust din sila. Talagang nag-adjust din sila. Pasukan talaga. Eh, no? okay. Talagang sumasabay sila. Ayun. Yeah. Okay. So, ayun. Kaya we should always look out for each other and be prepared for the worst case scenario mm-hmm. such as heavy flooding or landslides. So, kailangan mag-prepare tayo ahead of time and syempre, if may mga pets tayo, yeah, so make sure na yeah, they're also pets. Okay, so that concludes our headlines. Now let's transition to the main focus of this episode, which is yung violence against women. So first off, syempre, ano ba to yung violence against women, Gia? Hmm. So yung violence against women, yung mga nag involved ng diverse forms of abuse and mistreatment such as physical, emotional, or psychological, sexual, domestic abuse, and exploitation. So yung existence of these forms is supported by factual evidence and statistics na ipapresent natin as we, eh, before we delve deep into the issue okay so 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 um due to the COVID-19 pandemic the nation's resources were heavily diverted to pandemic response so health social and legal services became largely inaccessible during the lockdown it is possible that domestic violence occurs especially during the first two to three months of 2020 because when restrictions were tightly enforced during the first two years of the COVID-19 pandemic the Philippine National Police recorded a total of 620 rape instances wow. in the national capital Grabe. region alone, 294 cases in 2020 and 326 cases in 2021. Yet, as restrictions were gradually lifted in 2022, the number of cases sharply increased to 1,953. Grabe. So, nung lumawag na, parang nagkaroon na ng... Nag-surge. Yeah. So, the pattern seemingly lines up with the premise of the lockdown restrictions and inaccessibility uh-huh. of services being inaccessible nga 
kay being um parang not not being somehow given that much priority during the pandemic. Yeah, exactly. Um, But it's surprising ah, na pandemic tus may Oh, yeah. mayroon pa rin talaga. I feel mayroon like talaga. yung pandemic nga, mas tumaas siya because mm-hmm. people, women, they were locked in locked with their yes. abusers. Yes. Parang so, more domestic yeah. abuse. Yeah, so domestic mas, mas dumadami yung abuse kasi nga, yeah. women were with their abusers all the time. They weren't able to yeah, go out. Tries. Yeah, and then transportation was limited. Like, ang daming mga nakasarang, ano tag doon? Yung point? Borders. <laughs> nakasara yung mga... <laughs> Ano borders? borders. Mas ano nakasara yung mga Ay, yung borders. Ayun, uh, may mga borders talaga na nakalock. So, things. syempre, nahirapan yung women to like go out and report their yeah. cases. Lalo mm-hmm. na nakakatakot, baka paglababas sila, magkaroon sila ng COVID. So, yeah. dumami talaga. So, mga kakilala. Mm-hmm. Right. Three of the most um, reported cases or acts of lovishness, the RPC are 336, Rape and Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Act of 2004, which is the RA. 9262. Yeah, okay. So, ito naman puro tayo numbers, no? So, between 2016 and 2021, the, tw- the year 2016 saw the highest number of reported abuse cases for women, totaling to over 32,000 cases. Yeah. However, over the past six years, the reported cases have been gradually declining, reaching over 12,000 in 2021. Bumaba pa yun ang lagay na yun. <laughs> so, according to the PSA report, there were over 15,000 violence against women, vow, cases reported by the Philippine National Police in 2020 which was 27.2% decrease compared to the 21,366 cases in 2019. Just ko na ikilo na ako sa number. <laughs> Pero in the NCR uh, alone, the Philippine Commission on Women recorded over 2,000 cases of vow in 2018 which dropped to 1,726 cases in 2020. So, however, itong mga decreased incidents na to, it does not necessarily indicate na meron ng ano, talagang full reduction na talaga sa violence against women. So, ang bigger concern dito is yung lack of concrete data due to the many cases going unreported. Yes. Diba? Mm. So, next naman is the cases of violence against women served by the DSWD from 2016 to 20, 2021 were remarkably low compared to the reported cases during those years. So, in 2021, only 1,208 cases were served while there were 12,543 reported cases. So, the lowest number of served cases was in 2017 with only 652 despite 26,423 reported cases that year. So in 2016 naman, yung year na may highest reported cases or 32,552 within the six-year span. So the DSWD served only 1,046 cases. So the significant difference in numbers, particularly in the NCR, should alert the authorities to the severity of vow in the country. From 1,867 cases in 2021, the numbers rose to 4,396 in 2022. So yung parang ang conclusion lang dyan. So kahit may kita mo talaga yung numbers, parang mm-hmm. yung nare-report sa hindi, malaki. Oo, diba? Tsaka sa kung sa NCR, ganyan na kadami. Ganyan na pala na. sa buong Pinas, uh-huh. diba? At saka yun yung nakikita mo na, 26,000 yung reported cases tapos 652 cases Kaya, lang yun. Hindi man lang kinalahati. Diba? Grabe. Parang wala man lang sa kalahati. Mm. Wala man lang wala sa talaga. 10%. Oh, oh. 5%. Kaya, mas lalong nakaka-discourage for women to report, to report. their, yeah, their exactly. abusers kasi wala, parang wala naman parang din wala, nangyayari. Wala nangyayari. Parang exactly. napaka-konti ng chance na magawa ng solusyon or mabigyan ng justice mm-hmm. yung nangyayari sa kanila. Given, ma- given the data that we have. Mm-hmm. And madami din nagkakaroon na cases na when women report it, hindi lang sila pinapansin ng mga mm-hmm. parang akala nila pa parang nagre-reklamo lang for the sake yeah. na nagsab- nagsumbong lang. At saka parang mas, ano pa sila, mas questionable pa sila dun sa pagre-report imbis na dun sa mismo act. Yes. Uh-oh. Diba? Kaya talagang, ano yun eh, ano din eh, frowned upon yung mga, ano ko, mga ganang situation. Parang imbis na paniwalaan, mas mm-hmm. inaano pa. So, mas lalong na. Oo, oh, 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 vini-victim mm-hmm. blame sila. Exactly. Yeah, even to this to this day, nagkakaroon pa rin ng victim blaming kahit we, we live in a contemporary society. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm di pa rin siya nawawala sa atin na parang bakit yung victim yung kailangan natin sisihin for what happened to them hindi naman nila yung ginusto exactly. especially for women um, um, both genders experience this violence mm-hmm. yeah. gender based violence nga diba mm-hmm. um, rampant pag women yeah. mm. kasi syempre um, considering na yung lumaki tayo sa society na patriarchal, patriarchal talaga patriarchal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. exactly Plus, despite, alam mo yung sa statistics na present natin, despite the decrease in number, talagang very high numbers mm-hmm, pa rin mataas, talaga yun. Kahit sabihin no? nung bumababa, it's mm-hmm. still not 
a normal pa. amount of number Kukulit ka pa like talaga? Bumaba talaga. na yun talaga. <laughs> so, um, statistics aside naman, let's dive deeper into the topic, topic with mm-hmm. our personal encounters. Pero, unfortunately, uh, wala naman akong personal experience on Fortunately. Yeah. Fortunately. 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 Yeah. 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 Unfortunately. Oh, Fortunately. Fortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The gulat ako. Unfortunately. Pero, it's one of the issue na hindi ko papalagpasin yeah. talaga. Mm-hmm. Every chance I get yeah. sa mga school project natin. Um, I raise this topic not only para mag-increase ng awareness but also to create a safe space yeah. for discussion and to promote le- taking legal action. Mm-hmm. So, Ayun, recently we made a social media campaign on being advocates sa isa sa mga um, course natin as a journalism student. So, ayun, we made, ang tawag dito, we mm-hmm. made a social media campaign, so everything may Facebook page, talagang more infos on uh, being aware sa VAW cases mm-hmm. and kung ano yung mga existing laws Ganda. about it. But before we dive into that topic, let's okay. take a short commercial break. Titiis ka na lang ba sa e-wallet at lumang bank apps mo? Struggle! I can't receive payments na! I need to go to the bank branch to deposit a check pa. Sige lang ta! So hassle to do it one by one! I need to send my bank dates again and again! Tiis no more! With UB, hindi ka na ma-hassle, hindi ka na magsistruggle, at hindi ka na magta-travel pa to the bank branch to transact. Ayos! Ayos! Download Union Bank online now! The fastest speed. The widest coverage. Experience it all from the Philippines' best mobile network. That's the power of smart. back. This is Mao. Semena. I am Kat. I'm Sophia. And I'm Gia. Okay, so medyo malalim na yung mga pinag-uusapan natin. So, before we dive deeper um, into the conversation, um, meron akong ibabalita sa inyo. So, since we're talking about women, um, this woman, um, artista siya, she graduated from college at 48 years old. Ooh. Yes, si Carla Estrada. So, she posted oh, last year. Mom, si Carla. Yes, si Mom, si Carla. Um, ano siya, from, I think, last year, nag, ano siya, nag-enroll siya doon sa government um, facilitated something something na is it, para siyang ano alternative learning system ata parang hindi mo na kailangan talagang no, to go through course. oh na four year course ng bachelor's degree talagang ano siya parang isahang ano na talaga tingnan niyo one year nakatapos na siya mm-hmm. and which is nakakatuwa din kasi alam mo yon at that age diba tinuloy niya pa rin pag-aaral mm-hmm. nakakatuwa kasi maraming nababalitang artista ng ganyan ngayon like yan, si AJ Raval um, mm-hmm. nagtapos ng high school hindi parang ano na siya eh, mid-twenties. And then, si Jong Hilario din, di ba? 46, manya cum laude pa. So, oh, wow. nakakatawa na, age na, isn't a yeah, hindrance. Parang, oh, oh, parang regardless of one's age, talagang, if you want it, talagang, there's a will. Yeah, there's, there's a, a way. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so, now na tapos na tayo sa ating news, we will now move on to a game. Wow. Ano game? game yeah. Medyo ito kasi, medyo na, nahilo ako sa numbers eh. Pagka ito ulit natin. <laughs> okay, so this game is Never Have I Ever. Uh, I'm sure lahat tayo alam yan kasi mga chronically online. <laughs> original, <laughs> okay, original. Chronically online. Oh. Okay, so game. first, uh, this will be about... Um, this is mga, connected to, connected sa topic yes, natin. Violence, uh, against, violence women. against women. So first is never. Wait lang, ilan to? Di ba we're supposed to put up our, hand, our fingers? I don't know. Four. 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 Okay. Four. Four. Uh, <laughs> okay. So anyway, sorry, sorry. Four, yeah. So okay, never have I ever been catcalled. 
Diba, I have kapag magbabababa. Uh, yeah. We all have. We all yeah, have. Okay. Unfortunately. Ano ba? Unfortunately. 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 Okay, paano? Anong, paano? Ano, ano ba? Anong gusto nyo? Oh. Paano ang experience? Parang normally, paglalabas ka as a oh, girl. Oo nga eh. Kahit para... uniform Oo, oh, oh, totoo lang. Lalo na lang, around grabe. Espanya, girl. Ang dami talaga. Seryoso. As in, naalala ko to very vivid sa utak ko. Pero usual siya, pero still mm-hmm. vivid. Mm-hmm. After ko nun sa review center ko, Nasa harap lang ako kasi kalyo yun eh. Alam parang sa may lagpas ng katip area, papunta Ortigas. Mm-hmm. No, no. Basta. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Tapos, <laughs> ano, nakatayo lang ako doon. Naka-jacket ako. Eh, naka-pants. Kasi malamig doon sa review center ko eh. Tapos, oh, da- siguro nakalimang truck na dumadaan. Oh Kinakat ko lang. Parang, Wala talaga sila pinipiling. Wala sila pinipiling tayo. Wala sa damitin. Kaya nasa lahat naka-uniform. Naka-uniform. Magpajama ka, wala. Wala talaga. Meron ako yung mga, recent lang yun eh, yung parang pa-uwi Ay. ako na nasakya, <laughs> na nasakya po ako. Tapos parang sumusunod yung ano, enforcer nung naghahanap ako ng ano, ng masasakyan. Talaga sumusunod siya, hi ate. Oh my god, mag- enforcer na, na yun. Eh. Enforcer yun ha, kaya talaga mas lalo akong kinabahan kasi biruin mo. I can't trust um, anyone. Oo, ano na yun ha, official na yun ha, uh-huh. tas ganun pa. Kaya yun. Okay, next. May inis tali ako. Okay. Never have I ever been slut-shamed. Slut-shamed? I think I have. Hindi ko nga alam. Ako rin ata. Ang bait bait na sure. Ako kasi yaman kapag by your own excess. Ano ba? Paano ba yung experience mo? Wala na. Parang... Because... Parang kapag yung group of friends mo mas leaning toward mga lalaki yun. Then, yung ibang babae, parang... Inaano ka? Oh, 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 parang ano siya? Parang par siya? Parang counted siya. Counted siya. <laughs> parang counted siya, ayun. So, parang... Um, pangit pa dun, parang mostly babae pa din yun. Yeah, na, yung... Ano, diba? Nag, mm-hmm. Ano nang hate towards you. No. Also, ako lang ba? Or may notion yung ibang... Yung male Gen Z na when you go to clubs, Parang, you're out there oh, too. Diba? You're out there too. I'm there to have fun, not to. Yeah. <laughs> diba? Why naman? Why naman sinishame ang mga... Ano? And ang pinaka-common is kung ano yung pananamit mo. Yeah. Yeah. What you wear. Yeah. Like, maglabas ka lang ng counting dress. Yeah, so, like, so, sila sabi na it's for men. It's for men's <laughs> eyes. No, it's not for you. It's <laughs> 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 for us. It's for us. It's for us. It's for us. It's no? Kaya <laughs> nga. Ito ba tagakak na yung showers sa akin? Pwede ba? So, alam mo yun, it's, uh, parang ang funny na lang isipin na dahil lang sa pananamit, parang mas sabihin ka na na you're very slutty or parang may pinapakitaan kang ganito, ganyan. And you know, experience ko sometimes, like the, sin- yung mga bouncers mismo, parang sila yung may mga nasty mm, looks or like, so, uh, aren't you supposed to protect the people in yeah. here? Bakit naman? Kung kami ay very slutty, kaya very shallow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next. Ilan na, ilan na yung nakababa? Two na lang. Dalawa na lang. Okay, tayong baba nyo. Never have I ever been called weak because of my gender. I have. Well, by my own mother. Siguro mostly sa family. Parang pag sinasabi, lagi kasi ako nasasabi yan, lalo nung bata ko na, ang sensitive ko daw. So parang kapag kakari, expressive kasi ako dati, lalo nung bata. So parang nagiging weak na siya na ang expressive. Parang sensitive mo masyado. Ano ba yan? So parang gunti lang, iiyak ka na, konti lang, ganyan. So parang feel ko, part siya nun. Oo, uh, part siya. Ako nung bata, I really wanted to take taekwondo. Mm. Kasi yung dad ko was like, that's for men. Mm-hmm. Like, that's masasaktan ka kasi types. like mga babae daw, mahina. Physically, hindi mm-hmm. daw pang ganun. So, yung mga, dinala sa akin, mga typical lang, piano lesson. <laughs> Bali! <laughs> ba? <laughs> may stereotype ba? na talaga eh. Nag-i-start And it's sa self-defense, yeah. diba? Mm-hmm. Wala namang gender ng self-defense. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, kahit namang ano, ano eh. Kahit namang anong sport siguro. Yeah, ano, totoo. Okay. So, it really comes from kahit sa family mo, sa friends mo, oh, strangers. Very it comes from everyone yung thinking na dinafollow nila yung g- gender stereotypes. So, isa pa to, isang last natin, never have I ever. Never have I ever lost an opportunity in school or work because of my gender. Parang wala pa naman ako. I don't think directly sa akin, but directly, it's uh-oh. true na Pero, parang nangyayari siya. talaga yung presented opportunity, uh, parang first choice, not Women. Ah, uh, sports for representing oh, oh, oh. the school mm-hmm. kunya mm-hmm. ganun. It's Pero tignan niyo naman kasi nang mga nagte-try usually it's women. True. True. Hello. Please. 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 Okay, so now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Ayun, 
Ganda. Okay, so starting <laughs> young. Okay, going back, speaking about gender stereotypes, um, isa yun actually sa mga um, root causes na cause ng society kung bakit nagkakaroon ng violence against women. So, <clears throat> one factor that contributes to violence against women is gender stereotyping. So, Ano nga ba yan? It is a socially constructed notion that generali- generalizes the roles, views, or attributes of men or women that can be both positive and negative. So, sa side naman ng positive, pwede masabi na women can be defined as caring, but on the negative side naman, women can be also defined as weak. For And for the longest time, society has dictated men to be physically strong and aggressive, di ba? Parang masculinity. <laughs> yes. Yung so-called patriarchal roles. While women are expected to follow men because they are the superior, superior gender. So with these gender expectations, it makes it more likely for women to be abused. Because society has even accepted it at times and excused yeah. it. Because yun yung na, they believe is normal, is yeah. it's generally accepted to people na and but sa so, reality, really, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, reality talaga. Wala naman talaga definition of what men and women should be. Eh. Society just dic- dictates what um, all genders should be or all sexual orientation should be. So social construct lang yung masculinity and femininity. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So tama yan, no? Since nga ang societies natin are deep rooted, uh, meron tayong deep rooted uh, patriarchal norms and attitudes, um, it tends to reinforce um, male dominance and control over women, resulting in higher prevalence of violence against women. Anong Joe po? At Ate Maita. Ngayong July, may decrease tayo ng 72 centavos per kilowatt hour. 11 pesos and 19 centavos per kilowatt hour na lang ang overall electricity rate dahil sa lower generation charges ng ating suppliers. Napakagandang news. Share lang namin ang advantage magbayad through Meralco Mobile with these housemates. Guys! This connection notice po. No! Oops! Sorry, I forgot. Finals yun kasi. Pero ikaw ang nakatoka this month. Di ba pwede makalimot? Hmm? 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 Ah! Ba't ang suwit na mga pesh ko? Guys, kasi mapuputulay na tayo. May 48 hours pa tayo. Pero sige na. May Miralco app naman. May payment options din like Maya and Gcash. Pita! Salamat po. Download now. With GLOBE, our steps can lead us to millions of doors opening, millions of paths unfolding, and millions of reasons to keep going. 
Now's the time to be with the network that gets better every day for you. Okay, so we're sorry for the sudden commercial break. Um, it, it must be the weather. <laughs> Kaya, technical difficulties. Yeah, technical difficulties. Okay. Tayo. okay, so going back. Yes, yeah, so yung mga gender stereotypes, it's generally accepted, which should not be. Kasi wala naman talagang definition kung ano yung masculinity and mm -hmm. femininity. Yeah, exactly. I agree to that. Um, it's um, the society deep-rooted um, patriarchal norms and um, tendency attitudes na... It's it's to blame um, <laughs> because they tend to reinforce male dominance and control over women, resulting in a higher prevalence of violence against women. So, in some exact example, jan ng mga kabataan natin ayan tinuturuan yung mga lalaki na maging assertive, magumiyak, magumiyak na lang, magumiyak ka, bading ka, oh, di ba? True. true. Um, they um, while well, women naman they are encouraged. I mean, girls are encouraged to be submissive, nurturing, dependent. Yes. Kailangan ang um, parang bata palang tayo siya sabihan tayo na pagtanda mo um, mat, dapat maruno ka magluto. Oh, no. magluto Very ka para traditional and There's nothing wrong with it, pero don't box. Yeah. Uh -oh. Wag kasi na box. Wala wala na mga malidon, pero yeah. dapat it's kung not all we are. Oh, oh. Dapat kung nasasabi mo yung mga rules na to. Um, may nasasabi ka rin, alam mo yun, mga, kunwari sa atin, pagluluto, ganyan-ganyan. Mm -hmm. Dapat sa lalaki sinasabi din yeah. yun. So, um, meron pa, yung traditional family structures. Um, they're placing men as the heads of households with significant yeah. decision-making authorities. Pag, um, in most marriages, kapag um, wife ka, um, you are all, mm -hmm. yun nga, expected ka maging submissive, obedient. Um, yung mga... Oh, yung sa mga chores. Oh, sa chores. Yung okay. 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 financial, sa financial, father. Sa father. Yeah. Diba? Parang makikita mo yung power, uh, imbalanced power dynamics. Na yung mga imbalanced power dynamics na to, it can result to um, abuse. Diba? Dahil sa feeling of superiority, yeah, superiority and dominance na kaya ko tong gawin kasi ganito ako. Mm -hmm. And kaya ko kasi rin. parang, kung ano rin, oo, diba? <laughs> Kapag napuno siguro yung mga babae and parang nag-speak up, lumaban, parang sasabihin nung lalaki na, bakit sino ka ba? Ganyan, babae ka lang. Babae ka lang. No. <laughs> side eye, no. Side eye Bombastic side eye. And then, meron din tayo na yung limited awareness natin and understanding of women's rights and available resources na can for, um, further uh, hinder efforts to prevent and address such violence. Yun nga, kagaya yung napag-usapan natin kanina, na kapag may report, nagre-report ng cases about um, rape, for example, mm -hmm. parang hindi sila na-address agad eh. If na-address man, kumbaga, hindi siya mag-proceed yung kaso. Hindi, hindi lahat. Matagal. Mm -hmm. Matagal yung pag-proceed ng kaso. And then, we also have the portrayal of violence against women and media. Yung mga napapanood natin sa TV na 
mga babae binubugbog. binubugbog. Oh, oh. Siyempre nakikita ng mga kabataan yun eh, di ba? Mm. So parang nakikita na, yun, dun parang dun na giging generally accepted yung mm. abuse towards women. Kasi nakikita nung mga tao. Kasi, kumbaga, nagpa-play sa TV. So parang okay siya. Nakikita mm-hmm. ng maraming yeah. tao. So bakit pinayagal lumabas sa TV? Tsaka at the end of the day, papatawan din naman ng main character, di ba? Di ba? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Tapos, ayun nga, um, nagre-enforce siya ng harmful stereotypes and desensitize society to the issue perpetuating a culture of acceptance. Unfortunately, fear of social stigma, like what we um, are talking about and shame, often deters women from reporting abuse or seeking help, creating significant barriers to breaking the cycle of violence. So, ito, I'm sure we are all familiar with this, pero gusto ko lang i-debunk yung mm-hmm. one known na supposed factor mm-hmm. why women experience violence. So, ayun nga, which is the way we dress. Which we said mm-hmm. naman kanina. Yeah. Said naman kanina. Sabi na natin ito kanina, pero lagi natin naririnig yung mga praise na bakit kasi ganyan suot mo or umayos ka magdamit kung ayaw mo bastos and stuff like that. But on numerous cases nga, na-prove na walang korek yung pananamit. Mm-hmm. There was even a uh, museum on it. You know, yung mga oh, oh, yung different clothes. Mayroon pa doon yung babies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, victims of uh, rape and abuse talagang naka-display. And talagang maki- uh, proven doon na walang factor yung pananamit mo at mm-hmm. all. And um, even yung mga night outs, ayun nga, yeah. may stigma na if you're a girl, you shouldn't be out that late. And that is somehow your fault kapag binigaring mo sa mga sa'yo sa ganong oras. And over time, it felt like we have accepted na itong mga bagay na to ay cause nga ng violence mm-hmm. against us. But mm-hmm. no, this is an effect of years long na avoidance sa pag-acknowledge at pag-address sa maling sistema. And thankfully naman ngayon, we have legal measures na madadependahan yeah. to mm-hmm. fight off this. Sana. <laughs> Hopefully. So, okay. Isa na sa mga legal um, um, laws regarding this is the RA 9262 or the Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Act of 2004 which is a law that seeks to adjust the prevalence of violence against women and their children by their intimate partners like their husband, ex-husband, live-in partners, former live-in partners, boyfriend, girlfriend, etc. So, meron din tayo dito tawag na Republic Act 7877 or also known as the Anti-Sexual Harassment Act of 1995 which prohibits sexual harassment in the workplace, in educational institutions, and in training and learning environments. So, dito kailangan talaga mapakita and makreate yung safe and respectful environment for women para naman ma-hold accountable yung mga ginagawang hindi mga ganda ng no, mga offenders. Ala, offenders. Okay, so also we have the RA-8353, also known as the Anti-Rape Law of 1997, which amends the definition of, of rape and imposes stiffer penalties on offenders. It recognizes marital rape and other forms of sexual violence as mm. criminal offenses. So we also have the Republic of 9710, also known as the Magna Carta of Women, which addresses the rights and welfare of women in all aspects of life. So it seeks to eliminate discrimination against women, promote gender equality, and protect women from violence and abuse. So na mention ko kanina na na may nilunch kaming social media campaign dati for a school project. And nakapag-interview kami dun ng uh, VOC desk worker. So if you don't know that, yung uh, VOC desk are established at barangay level. So ito yung frontline for victims of abuse. So almost 38,000 barangays out of 42,045 have established VOD desk according to the latest statistics from Philippine Commission on Women in June 2019. So, uh, base dun, no, talagang effective yung VOD desk para sa pag-report ng mga cases. And, uh, ang naging uh, currently kinakaharap na problem now is not the reporting, but yung pag-take ng legal action yeah. after reporting. Because mm-hmm. most, ayun nga, most uh, na nagre-report ng mga case ayaw na nilang ituloy dahil Uh-oh. may rigorous process pa nga daw. Uh-oh. So, it's uh, exhausting for them. Uh-huh. Not only, ayun nga, Abaya. yung bravery nila hanggang um, pag-report na lang. Ayaw na nila mag-take yeah, ng further exactly. legal action. Kasi nga, yun nga, mahaba yung process. And uh, ano ko din yan, naririnig ko din yan kasi yung mom ko is um, chief siya ng Women and Children Protection sa may amin, sa Pasig. And talagang naririnig ko yung mga ano, mga nagre-report doon, minsan hindi na talaga nila tinutuloy kasi nga ang haba ng proseso. Tapos nakikipag-areglo na lang. Biruin mo yeah. yung anak mo, ni-rape, tapos parang ang ending, ano na Sometimes lang. Sometimes kayo yung offenders pa yung nananalo sa court. Oo, oh, 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 yun oh, nga oh, eh. Oh, Kaya oh. nakaka, alam mo yun, ayun ang pangit din talaga sa ano, justice system yes. natin kasi talagang apektado lahat. Okay, and then we also have the RA 10 
10354, uh, also known as the Responsible Parenthood and Reproductive Health Act of 2012. So while this is not specifically focused on violence against women, this law addresses issues related to reproductive health, maternal care, and family planning which are vital for women's well-being and empowerment. Okay, so before we proceed, we will have a short commercial break. For all your better transactions, all new Bayan. Titiis ka na lang pa sa e-wallet at lumang bank apps mo? Struggle! I can't receive payments na! I need to go to the bank branch to deposit a check pa. Sige lang na! So hassle to do it one by one! I need to send my bank dates again and again! Tiis no more! With UB, hindi ka na ma-hassle, hindi ka na magsistruggle, at hindi ka na magta-travel pa to the bank branch to transact. Ayos! Ayos! Download Union Bank online now! Manong Joe po. At Ate Maita. Ngayong July, may decrease tayo ng 72 centavos per kilowatt hour. 11 pesos and 19 centavos per kilowatt hour na lang ang overall electricity rate dahil sa lower generation charges ng ating suppliers. Napakagandang news. Share lang namin ang advantage magbayad through Meralka Mobile with these housemates. Guys! Disconnection notice po. No! Oops! Sorry, I forgot. Finals yun kasi. Pero ikaw ang nakatoka this month. Di ba pwede makalimot? Hmm? 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 Ah! Ba't ang suwit ng mga pesh ko? Kasi mabuputulay na tayo. May 48 hours pa tayo. Pero sige na. May Miralco app naman. May payment options din. Like Maya and Gcash. Pita! Salamat po. Download now. And now we're back to our podcast. This is Mao. Simena. I'm Kat. I'm Sophia. And I'm Gia. So, in the commercial break, we have to talk about the loss we were discussing kanina. So, yeah. given the aforementioned loss, there are many, right? But unfortunately, <laughs> um, violence against women, they still happen. Talaga. And can I just say, Mao and I were talking in the commercial break, I feel like it also has to do something, yung makalumang mindset, mm -hmm. na sinu stereotypes. I feel like it also has to do something with the Philippines being. A Catholic country, very religious, religious. And in the Bible, that's what it says, na women should follow their husband's lead. Na parang women are submissive according yeah. to the Bible. Oh, and Bible you know, naman, Filipinos tend to overanalyze the Bible. Oh, and, and, and there's parang, nothing wrong with being religious. Pero I feel mm -hmm. like, ayun nga, like, hindi naman literal yun. Oh, <laughs> na so, ano hindi naman isa sa buhay mo, sa lahat oh, ng aspects. Belief mo nandun lang. Yeah, hindi ka mag-grow. Tsaka so, yung parang point na... Tama, may parang gusto mo kasi, parang gusto mo na tama, parang nagiging hip, parang hypocrite hip hip yes. na parang sasabi mo, parang masyadong silang hinuhusgahan pero hindi mo alam yung ginagawa and mo rin. And justifying your din. actions using you know, Bible, you know, justify mo kasi mm. in the Bible, ganyan. I, like, I've heard a lot of mm. mga ganong situations sa, sa family ko kasi very religious mm. sila and... That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi, mother. Hi, tita. Hello, tita. Actually, if we trace 
back yung mga cases on violence against women. Malamang, ano, hindi pa tayo pinapanganak talaga. Meron na. Meron, meron na. na. Or kahit yung mga kaninuan natin. Ninunun. Talagang, <laughs> even before, hindi lang, hindi recognized dati na. Uh-oh. Nasa top ng family tree. Ganito. Nangyayari yeah. na yun. From the root talaga. So, Maria Clara nga, di ba? Oh, yeah. 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 But that's one example na known yung libro, pero mm-hmm. not known yung case na ang take away kasi nila kay Maria Clara, she's the image of Filipino yeah. uh, women. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but in, sino nag-acknowledge na she, she was a victim of oh. abuse as well, di ba? Yeah. Parang yeah. hindi masyado na didiscuss yung that aspect of Maria Clara. And also yung mom niya, di ba? Na yeah. ano din, na rin. I feel ko there's something talaga about women na like, mm-hmm. nahihiya silang aminin na that happened to them. Mm-hmm. Like, ako at mm-hmm. least. Sana hindi nanonood yun namin. <laughs> Sana walang nanonood. Pero ako, at least, I was like ashamed to admit that I was a victim of that. Kasi given na parang... Hindi <laughs> kasi, siguro kaya din tayo na... Kaya rin nahihiya na maging sabihin na kasi, victim ka. Kasi nga parang ano eh. Hindi ko matanggap. Ka agad. And Ayun. like, given na parang I was associated with a person like that. And, oh. I, and I tolerated it. Kasi I was protecting him. Hmm. So parang... Ngayon, I'm more ashamed na ginawa ko yun. Sana ay nag-speak out ako. Yeah. Tsaka yeah. minsan kasi you're unsure kung violence ba itong yeah. ginagawa oh, sa akin. Ginagaslight ko na oh, oh. <laughs> Kasi lalo na with your partner, iniisip mo na you love the person. So parang... <laughs> so <laughs> parang... Okay, <laughs> ako kaya binubugtog niya ako daw. <laughs> Mahal niya ako kaya... Love, love, love. Love, love, love. <laughs> Tough love. Pero hindi, sometimes... Guys, are you okay? <laughs> 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 Sometimes. Paano yung ano? Sometimes. Love language <laughs> namin magbugbugan. Physical touch. <laughs> physical touch ang love language. Sorry. 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 Physical touch. So yun nga. Sometimes. Yung nakakatawa ganyan. Ah, yeah. Ito walang kami. Kasi experience nila tinatawanan nila. So, Coping mechanism ka. namin tawanan yung mga hardships. Pero hindi po, hindi po kami natatawa kung na-experience hmm. yun din. We're not invalidating. For, for you. <laughs> So, okay. so yun nga guys, sometimes parang na, nandun tayo sa clouded mind mm. natin when we're with our significant yeah. other or we're, when we're with the people that we love na parang hindi mm. natin sure kung violence ba tong ginagawa niya sa akin like kung physical ba or kung mm. words or Minsan yung sinasabi this, this is normal in a relationship It's not normal it's not guys normal. And I guess it comes with age na rin Kasi when you're 16, what do you know about love? You have yeah. a very twisted notion on love when you're young mm-hmm. And guys, it's not love Yeah, <laughs> and if, if alam mo yun Parang kahit sumagi lang sa mind mo na may ginawa ba to sa akin gaya na to na violates my rights yeah. as a human being, hindi lang as a woman. Yeah. Parang you should know na yes, he did. Yes, no he excuses did. Wala, with wala. that. Stop excuses. gaslighting yourselves. Huwag okay, mo yung gaslight na binubug ko na nga, hindi, ano yun? Ano yun talaga? <laughs> Uh, may, may ginawa din I kasi ako. I can change ako. him. <laughs> Look at me. I will fix him. I will fix him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ate, Again, hindi mo ma-fix him. Okay. <laughs> guys, learn to forgive yourselves. Kasi yeah. we were young. Oh, hindi natin alam yun. Hindi natin. Hindi, actually. Hindi, alam mo. <laughs> alam, actually, hindi. Siyempre, since siyempre, bata tayo, parang ano eh, no? Affected um, yung mga decision-making ano natin. Yeah. Is parang, hindi pa rin fully mature yung utak natin mm. to grasp yeah. that. Yeah. It, so, it takes time. Forgive yourselves mag-gasp. also for letting mm-hmm. that happen to you. Uh, I yeah. forgive you. Yeah, I, I forgive you. Hug yourself, <laughs> guys. Hug yourself. <laughs> We're not blaming you. Um, talagang forgive yourself. Actually, ano, namin kayo. Parang naiintindihan namin kasi, kayo. Kasi, um, some here um, <laughs> were in that situation. So, yeah. Pero, kasi when you're in that situation, it's hard to realize na you're actually in it. Uh, Uh, diba? Pag nakalabas ka na sa situa- situation, Maria, teka, hindi normal yun ah. Ba't niya ako inaano? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Parang ano na rin kasi, ma-realize mo, ah, too late na. Yeah, it's too late, guys. Pero yun. Pero alam niya, after acknowledging the situation and saying it out loud, may ano pa rin, stigma pa rin, bumabalik pa rin yung stigma sa women na after mong uh, i-acknowledge na victim ka of abuse, parang mm-hmm. lalo kang magbumukhang weak to yeah. others. Uh-huh. Yung tingin nila sa'yo, alam mo yun, parang something That to make people makes me less of a woman if uh, it happens to me may ganung sinisimang ayo parang no they take pity on you yeah, uh-huh. pag nalalaman so, lalong nagmumukhang weak yung image mo as uh-huh. women but so let it happen and you it took you so long to uh, open up say about it mm-hmm. uh-huh. so sometimes since ang tagal na nga kung kailan ready ka na mag-speak out or like what ngayon yun lang nangyari uh-huh. ba talaga yeah. yan yeah. oh anong yari yan <laughs> ate nasang society ka <laughs> 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 hindi ka ba aware na ganito ang ating mga 
mga ano natin sa... Tsaka yung natin. acceptance sa mga naggawa sa'yo, it really takes a long time mm-hmm. eh, to yeah. let it in, to let it digest sa sarili mo na accept na this happened and kung anong pwede mong gawin with it. Mm-hmm. So, hindi dapat natin nire-rush, especially yung mga victims of um, these kinds uh-huh. of abuses, yeah. regardless of kung anong how form. How small or how big. Kasi, Uh-oh. like, the situation ko before, I'm like, eh, hindi naman siya fully bugbogan, so... <laughs> Baka hindi yun violence. <laughs> ano, Tito! Tito! <laughs> si ano po yan? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Stop na, stop na. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> talaga nag-stop. Hindi, <laughs> pero ayun nga. At may sasabihin ko tuloy kasi. <laughs> Parang um, siguro part din nung Part ah, kasi ng acceptance ko? process is yung parang pag-deny sa... Yeah. Uh, denial stage. Yeah. Yeah. Stages yan. Yeah. Ito talaga yung denial stage before fully acknowledging na na... Oo nga na, The sound effects is just going <laughs> Pero, ayun nga, parang... Progress kasi is not linear. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like, ay, nakakabukoy na ako. Tapos parang mag-relapse ko ulit lang. Baka hindi niya sinasadyang bigatan yung kamay niya. Baka naman! Baka naman ka pe, no? Baka akala niya, pinto lang yung braso ko. Baka naman kasi may ginawa din ako para gawin niya. Baka ako yung nag-trigger sa kanyang manakit. Ayun, violente ka lang talaga. Kaya na totoo, violente ka lang talaga siya. Kasi violence is never an answer, guys. Communication lang. Kaya, yeah. alam nyo yun, kapag super surprising, <laughs> surprising. <laughs> super surprising siya when it comes from a person na hindi mo talaga ina-expect kasi super mm-hmm. bait niya, super kalmado siya, super collected siyang tao. May kalokohan! So, kapag ko. yun ang mahirap na parang may isip po na ganto naman siyang tao, baka nadala lang siya sa situation. Oo, oh, ayun, uh-huh. may isip talaga. Pero, nadala man sa situation or what, That's still part of who he is. How he reacts sa situ- sa situation na yun, sa sa anger niya, yeah, sa exactly. emotions niya lahat ng yun. That's who he is. Maybe he made a mistake, pero that's still yeah. he still did something to you. And yeah. alam mo yun, you should not excuse that mm-hmm. ever pa rin. Yeah, mm-hmm. and if he did it one time and he tolerate mo, Ooh. he'll probably do it uh-uh. another again. time yeah. and sige, go. Kaya Hanggang sana natin na-tolerate parang, mo. Ano, parang sana makaharap tayo ng mga tao na pwede talaga nating sabihan. Yes. Yung parang emotional, mm-hmm. yung, emotional. Yung support talaga. Kasi minsan talaga nag-uumpisa din sa friends na pag nalaman na, ay si ganito, ginaganyan, parang i-enable pa. Yeah, kasi may chance yeah. like, may tinotolerate mm-hmm. hanggang sa parang kahit lumalanat pa, hindi mo pa rin papaniwala. Lalo na kung parang sabihin natin, may image siya na yeah. si ganito, ganyan. Especially when you and your partner are like mm-hmm. in the same circle. Mm-hmm. So parang it's hard to open up about it kasi like, you have the same set of friends. So, mm-hmm. unless so, you get out of that. So parang iba silang pagkakakilala yeah. dun sa yeah. partner mo na, ay hindi niya magagawa yan. Mm-hmm. Eh, nagawa niya nga eh. <laughs> Maniwala ka. Maniwala ka naman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, but besides the mga um, significant other, it it also happens with, within the family. Eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yung mga violence na kahit from your father, from your uncles. Maraming cases na yan na mga dads or titos na nire-rape yung mga yes. batang batang uh, baby. Yeah, baby or mga toddlers or kahit anong age, guys. Kahit yung mga animals eh. Yeah, Alam niyo yun, di ba? <laughs> kahit mga animals, it, it still happens. So, hindi siya hindi siya safe un sorry hindi siya ano hindi safe yeah hindi safe talaga na magkaroon pa rin tayo ng ganitong mindset when it comes to um violence against women yung gender based violence yeah. exactly. so, yeah. even harder um, talaga pag yung um se- family setting because if relative mo yung mismong uh, involved dun sa mahirap lalo mag-open up te- sa ganito mo sasabihin mm-hmm. siya di ba plus Ayun nga, may nabanggit kanina ni uh, Gia yung about image. So, if kilala siyang uh, mabuting tao, if mm-hmm. you say something mm-hmm. na contradicting to that, then ikaw yung parang magmumukhang liar. Imbis na sila yung liar. pagdalawang, yeah. ano, pag pag dalawang isipan, isipan, ikaw. It's your fault. Mm-hmm. Sabi, mm-hmm. Ma, uh, like, lalo na talaga pag kilala siya. Oo, oh, oh. diba? Yun yung mahirap din. Mm-hmm. Nakaka-discourage talaga to speak up. Okay, so now, um, talking about that, um, 
um, given na lahat tayo babae rito, yeah. we are at least, yun nga, ang dami nating nasabi, we are at least informed about the um, perpetra- perpetuation of violence against women in our country. However, um, my goal is to make this episode resonate with men as well. I aim to as, um, inspire men to join us as allies um, in the fight against violence against women. Uh, this campaign is inclusive and is open to everyone. It's about fostering a united front. Uh, since women are mostly impre- uh, oppressed and abused by men, by men, <laughs> by men. <laughs> women <laughs> are men <laughs> <laughs> women are seen as weak. So therefore, you mga ano eh, yung mga nag act as feminine, kahit lala, basta mga men, or gays and everything, parang ano eh, abuse din sila. Nakaka, mm-hmm. ano din sila ng gantong violence. Yeah, yeah. Ganong acts na experience din nila. Um, so, I encourage them to um, foster, uh, promote mas- healthy masculinity, challenge yung mga toxic mindsets, harmful behaviors, thought, Thoughts, ideas rather than tolerating them. Also, um, practice asking for consent. Na bubulol lang. Yeah, consent is very important, guys. So, yeah. Pwede nakitang bugbog. Ano? Okay, so yun nga. Other na natutulong ko from our discussion. The discussion is, us women, we have been abused in other women's. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi po nakakatawa tong episode. Sorry, nito, sorry. Kami. Women have experienced abuse, oppression, and all forms of violence for a long time. Okay, and based so. on our discussion, it is deeply rooted in our history as we live in the modern world where the societies. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry. Okay, go. Mindset. And yes. Yes, the mindset on gender equality um, continues to progress. We should also continue to do our part to promote our advocacy so that we can reach our common goal of diminishing gender-based va- violence. Once gender or sexual orientation should not be a means to be used as a way to violate yes. people's rights. Exactly. Women should always keep their um, abusers accountable and um, acknowledging that that happened to you doesn't make you weak. Yeah. And if anything, it makes you stronger as a woman. And you know, what can we guys? Exactly. Okay, so let's encourage victims of abuse to not only speak up but also to take legal action. So I'd also like to take this opportunity to say that this goes both ways. Nga. Men mm-hmm. also experience mm-hmm. abuse. So um, kung may stigma on violence against women, there are also stigmas na needs to be addressed with violence against men. So mm-hmm. they too are afraid to speak up. So this is for everyone. Take legal actions on abuse. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. lastly, so there's a lot of ways that we can do to make our community or our space a safe space for everyone. So as simple as making ourselves informed, holding people accountable for their wrong actions and uplif- uplifting each other to make us feel confident, safe, and belong. So, sana may natutunan kayo today and at the same time, nag-enjoy kayo sa pakikinig sa amin. Once again, this is Vibe Check and I'm Gia. I'm Kat. I'm Mao. I'm Sophia. And I'm Simena. Bye! Bye! Bye.